And I will sing that they shall hear That I am not, I am not afraid Hello ladies, it is obviously Wednesday, so here I am. Um, this week's challenge was to draw a dinosaur or a mythical beast or a mythical dinosaur. Um, I didn't know if we had to film ourselves drawing it, so I drew mine earlier, so here he is, and he's happy to see you. See? Ta-da! So, that is my dinosaur, and um, I'm going to backtrack a bit, because uh, Deanna mentioned something in her video on Monday about um, watching a movie, watching Donnie Darko with me, and how it was really weird, because, alright, I haven't seen, I hadn't seen Donnie Darko at that point, I was a sophomore in college, and she's like, what is this, you need to see it now, so I was like, okay, so we got together and we watched not only Donnie Darko, we watched Donnie Darko and then Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind back to back, so by the end I was like, my brain, it is coming out of my ears, I existence? Reality? What is this? So I was a gibbering mess for the rest of the night and I had really weird dreams after that so that was interesting to say the least. Now onto the theme. So the theme was favorite movies and I have a lot of favorite movies. Um, I have technically well, the first one is technically three. It's the Lord of the Rings trilogy, extended edition, of course. And uh, I remember when I first heard of it coming out, I was both OMG, uber excited, and also really scared because if you've seen some of the animated versions, it's like, ooh, not good at all. So, and then I was afraid that they would totally kill the book. And you know how it is, you know, when you see movies that are based off of books that the movies are nothing like what's in the book and it's like what no that didn't happen he didn't go there he didn't say that what are you doing Ugh! so um needless to say i saw a trailer and then i saw the films and my fears were assuaged and i was absolutely over the moon about that probably more so than was a little healthy mm. but anyway moving on another favorite movie of mine is um 300 because it is an epic tale of something that actually happened. Not technically the way it happened in the movie, because it's based the movie itself is based off of a graphic novel. So there's that whole suspension of disbelief thing. But um, yeah, it has honor and valor and fighting and blood and guts and really hot guys in leather bikini bottoms. And that is a good movie. <laughs> and it has Gerard Butler in leather bikini bottom, so, mm, yeah, that's nice. Uh, <laughs> all <laughs> that aside, going back to children's movies, actually, um, I loved this movie when I was a child, and I love it more now that I can actually understand it. Uh, it was 1986, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. You, you know the one with David Bowie as the Goblin King? Well, laugh. Oh, I love it is amazing. It has great music, because, well, David Bowie wrote it, and um, it, it's really good for 1986. I mean, it's good, and David Bowie is an amazing Goblin King, because he's, well, he's really good at playing an egotistical monarch. Yeah, slightly sadistic as well. So that is one of my favorite movies ever, and um, actually, another favorite movie of mine is one that just came out. Um, remember how I told you I went and saw, um, Legends of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul last week? I saw it twice, actually. Uh, that is now one of my favorite movies because it is amazing. Oh my god, if you haven't seen it, you need to. It is definitely worth the money for 3D because the graphics are jaw-dropping. They are, oh my god, I was like, this is a movie? What? So, yeah, I definitely recommend it, and yeah, 
<laughs> I'm going to stop now because I'm going to go over the time limit if I keep on babbling. So Megan, I will see you with your drawing of a dinosaur or a mythical beast or a mythical dinosaur and your favorite movies tomorrow. Bye.